This video covers how to create cladding panels within Aviva Everything 3D 2.1. Make the cladding panels framework the CE and remove the panels from the draw list. Click the plates tab, unlock the storage and create a new framework named area 02 underscore workshop underscore cladding underscore panels. Set the manual storage to the new framework and lock it. Zoom into the side end bay, click the View tab and click the Three Points button in the Local Coordinate System group. Snap to the intersection of construction aid lines in the three locations on the side bay to define the LCS plane. Click the Plates tab and select Rectangle 2 points from the Panels button options list. Snap to the intersection of the construction aid lines at the top left of the panel. Zoom in and note the direction of the panel thickness. It is justified bottom by default but this needs to be changed. Press the down arrow key to display the command options and click the justification tile. Press the down arrow again and click the top tile to set the panel justification to top. Note the change in the panel thickness direction. Snap to the intersection of the construction aid lines at the bottom right corner of the panel. Repeat the process for the other two side panels. Note the panel justification is retained as top. Click the View tab and reset the LCS to World. Make one of the side panels the CE and holding down the Control key, select the other two panels. Click the Home tab and click the Mirror button in the Modify group. Snap to the intersection of the sloping construction aid lines. Toggle Ortho on F8 to move the cursor east to mirror the panels. Click at a suitable point to create the opposite side panels. Zoom into the west end of the workshop. Open the object snapping settings form. Uncheck the P-line endpoint snap and click the OK button. Click the three points button in the local coordinate system group of the view tab. Snap to the intersection of construction aid lines in the three locations on the end bay to define the LCS plane. Click the Plates tab and select multiple points from the Panels button options list in the Create group. Snap to five intersections on the construction aid lines to define the vertices of the panel. Press the Return key to finish and create the panel. Select the third isometric view from the left of the Look button gallery and zoom into the end of the workshop with the door opening. Click the Three Points button in the Local Coordinate System group of the View tab. Snap to the intersection of construction aid lines in three locations on the end bay to define the LCS plane. Click the Plates tab and select multiple points from the Panels button options list in the Create group. Snap to five intersections of the construction aid lines to define the vertices of the panel. Do not press the Return key to create the plane yet.
Open the object snapping settings form, uncheck the intersection snap and then check the P-line endpoint snap. Make the L-top, L-bot, R-top and R-bot P-lines visible in the P-line filters tab. Click the OK button. Snap to the R-bot P-line of the door opening column, followed by the R-bot P-line of the door beam. Continue to create the door opening by snapping to the R-bot P-line of the other end of the beam, and the R-top P-line of the second door column. Press the return key to create the cladding panel. Set the LCS to World and add the roofing panels back to the draw list.